Well, we play a game of you only knew, Richard. Here's what happens. Okay. Questions, and I just throw them up to you. Okay. Right? It's not a courtroom. <laughs> Who is your childhood celebrity crush? Uh, Haley Mills. I loved her. Oh, man. I was going to, I, I dreamt about moving to England and becoming her gardener so she'd fall in love with me. Her father was a great actor. Yes, he was. Yes, John Mills. Person you most look up to? I would kind of say my wife. Actor or director from yesteryear you'd like to work with? Spencer Tracy. What did he, what was special about him? He was, uh, he was ahead of his time. He was just, he was just this human being on screen. He was just real. Funniest fan encounter? Uh, I had one the other day. When somebody said to me, I know you. And I said, no, you don't. He said, yeah, no, no, I know you. I said, well, I'm an actor. He went, Oh, wait a minute. No, yeah, I saw you on TV. Oh, no, you're not an actor. You're a supporting actor. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best piece of advice you ever got? Um, you're enough. Worst piece of advice? Uh, it's an easy business to get into. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best compliment you ever got? I forgot I was watching a performance. Biggest risk you ever took? I, th I think uh, becoming an actor, even though I had no idea it was a risk at the time. Of course, it's such a you know, it's tenuous business. Crazy. Biggest splurge? I think our house we just bought. Why do you live in Rhode Island? Uh, well, I was in a theater company there for 14 seasons as an actor, and a wonderful theater called Trinity Repertory Company. And our kids were born in school. I got the Witches of Eastwick from there. So we both, uh, my wife and I, said, let's stay. So we did. You miss theater? You like theater? I still direct in the theater. I love going to the theater. I don't have a great desire to go back on the stage, but I, I, uh, I love it. Last time you cried during a movie? Um, watching uh, The Florida Project and Brooklyn Ch Prince, the little girl, the fabulous little girl in there at the end when she starts crying. And it's the only time you really see her as a little girl. I just... I, Willem Dafoe's nominated, right? He's fantastic. I mean, yeah. Is he nominated against you? Yeah, yeah. He's fantastic. They're all fantastic. Sam Rockwell, I mean... It's Sam Rockwell, I guess he'd be favored. He's, he is favored, yeah. I, I won the AARP award last night, and I said, I want to thank Sam Rockwell for being too young to win this. <laughs> <laughs> so was, uh, is there someone else from yesteryear you would like to portray in a film? Um, no, I don't... Um, Abraham Lincoln's uncle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was a great guy. He was. He was he, but he, he told him, Abe, Abe. <laughs> you thought Abe was funny. Oh. <laughs> guilty, Barry, guilty. Barry Lincoln. Ma oh. yeah. Guilty pleasure. Every time Grease comes on, I got to watch it. Really? Yeah, it's my time. Yeah. Luxury you can't live without. Belonging to a golf course. I do love it. It is a luxury, though. Uh, upcoming film you're, film you're excited to see? Um, I've seen them all this year, so I can't think of any. I've seen most of them. What was your favorite film other than Shape of Water? Oh, man, that's hard. I liked them all. I loved uh, Three Billboards. Mm. Uh, I loved The Florida Project. Um, I, Tanya was really great. Uh, I, I loved Darkest Hour. I thought Gary Oldman was just fantastic in Darkest Hour. He was uh, insane. That, that skill level in that performance is extraordinary. And the makeup is incredible. Um, but, you know, that's just one... Lady Bird. I love Lady Bird. Yeah, I did, too. Uh, Saoirse Ronan. Laurie Metcalf is fantastic in Lady Bird, yeah. Longest period of time you've been awake? Mm, two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you never had a stay up all night or nothing? <laughs> What's a superpower you wish you had? <laughs> Memory. God. <laughs> That at this age, it is oh, a superman. I'd like to be invisible. Really? Yeah. I sometimes am. <laughs> <laughs> You're stranded on a desert island. What three things do you bring with you? Um, my computer and my Wi-Fi. And so I would say third would be water. <laughs> <laughs> Something you long believed to be true and then found out wasn't. That. Oh, you make your own luck. I don't believe that anymore. I think luck is a, is just out there and you have nothing to do with it. I think it's big. I agree with that. Yeah. Babe Ruth said, I'd rather be lucky than good. It's true. I mean, it's true. You you If you look back on your life, as I do, 
I say, if I hadn't done that, this would never would have had. It's just luck. Left turn, right turn. Right. Exactly. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.